Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Khushbu Rani, who have recently cracked a job as a data analyst and most importantly as a fresher. It took her around seven months of hard work to reach to this position. This video will be very important for you all because I will ask her to showcase her resume in front of you, which actually helped her in the interview process. I will ask her to discuss about her job hunting strategies, which helped her to get multiple interview calls. And lastly, we'll talk about the interview process, what all things were asked in the interview. So you will definitely get a lot of insights from this video. So do watch this video completely till the end. So without any delay, let's start the video. And before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, learn with gigs, where you will find short videos on data analytics to me as well as regular job related updates. And also friends do congratulate her in the comment box because she deserves the appreciation for her hard work. All right, let's move towards the main session. Hello, Kushbu, how are you? I'm amazing, sir. How about you? I'm also doing good. Can you tell the audience about your educational background from where you belong and what degree you hold? My hometown uh, is Jharkhand. I live in Hajariwag town there. And uh, I have done a bachelor's degree in mathematics and I have passed graduation in August 2023. Uh, you said that you have graduated in uh, last year in 2023, right? August 2023. Yes, sir. So how did you got to know about data analytics domain and why did you choose this domain? So uh, when I was in semester five in April last year, I was choosing a career option. So uh, after searching on YouTube, I got to know about a career option, which is data analyst. So I searched about this on uh, YouTube channels and I got confidence that I can do this job because in data analytics job, problem solving skills is required, critical, critical thinking skills is required and also a good mathematics is also involved in this. And I also got confidence that I can learn SQL, Excel, Power BI and Python because I am interested in technology and I am also good in mathematics because somehow mathematics is required in this tool, in these all tools. So Kushbu, uh, you belong to a small town. So how did you work on your communication skills? Because there are a lot of freshers who comment in my uh, videos that uh, how they can work on their communication skills. So how did you do that? So I have uh, skilled my communication skills by recording video and by making video presentations of my projects. And what about your English? Like uh, people have this confusion that how they can improve their English. So how did you do that? So I improve my English by uh, reading English books and I practiced by uh, speaking small, small sentences and I focused on limited vocabulary and I focused that I can uh, communicate uh, in simple English words. Okay, great. So you chosen data analytics domain. How do, what, what were the learning resources you used and how did you, what, what amount of time did you take to, to learn and prepare those skills? So I took a um, data analytics bootcamp from Code Basics and uh, and apart from that, I chose two YouTube channels. Uh, one is your YouTube channel, Learn with Geeks, uh, for Power BI interview questions. And uh, another one is Rishab Mishra YouTube channel, where I uh, learned about basic Excel SQL and some interview questions related to SQL. And for Power BI interview question, I choose your channel. And for the complete data analytics journey, I uh, choose Code Basics Bootcamp. Okay, so how much time did you give to learn and prepare? I give time four months to complete the bootcamp and to prepare for interview preparation. So the next main question is, uh, how did you craft your resume which helped you to get the interview calls? And also, can you please share your screen and show the resume so that people can directly see your resume and they can get to know about it. So in my resume, I placed uh, five projects, one from my virtual internship at Atlic Technologies and another one is from SQL. And two from Power BI and one last from Excel. So uh, basically I placed four projects, one project from my virtual internship. I have also placed the link of my portfolio, LinkedIn and GitHub. And apart from that, I have also placed the uh, live dashboard link of my projects in Power BI along with video presentation that helped me to uh, uh, upskill my communication skills. Okay, so you have made a one page resume and overall you have yes. put five, five projects, right? Five projects. And what about the certification? Did you have any? Yes, sir. Uh, I have placed three virtual internship certifications, one from Accenture, Tata, PwC, and uh, another one is the data analytics bootcamp uh, from Code Basics. 
so we have not focused on uh, microsoft certification you just focus on the 4h certification right so you can see from uh, khushboo's resume that uh, you don't have to focus much on certification part you have to focus on your presentation part your uh, projects part okay and your internship part okay even if it is virtual internship then also you can put it and show it and also uh, khushboo so what was the ats score of your resume my ats score was 95 so how much how much python you covered i covered basic of python like uh, uh, matplotlib numpy and pandas okay so you covered few libraries that you said pandas numpy matplotlib plus basics of python yes sir so if you are uh, so if you are watching this so you can understand that you have to learn python in such a way that it is useful for data analytics you don't have to learn much the way the software engineers learn so the next main question khushboo here will be like uh, which platform you used for for your job hunting and uh, like how much time did you give uh, for your job search i used two platform one is linkedin and another one is nokti.com so apart from my virtual internship simultaneously i was applying for job after 3 months of job hunting i got placed in live company so you you learned and prepared the skills in 4 months then after that for continuously 3 months you applied for the jobs right that's what you are saying and after 3 months that means 4 plus 3 after 7 months you got your final job yes sir so you focused on nokri and linkedin so what was your strategy on nokri as well as on linkedin that helped you to get the multiple interview calls i apply jobs within 24 hours in nokri and in linkedin that helped me getting interview calls and i also used to do follow up with hr i used to do uh, official emails to hr i uh, used to send my resume on whatsapp if number is given in nokri.com or linkedin that was one of the reason uh, for me to getting interview calls so you applied for the jobs which were posted within 24 hours that was the first thing so how did you get to know about the email ids of hrs because you said that you were used to mail them also so uh, in linkedin i go to the profile of the hr and in their post uh, i was able to find their emails and from that i used to email to hr in in nokri.com in some job descriptions email is also given and in some job description even phone number is also given so you were only focusing on those jobs or jo, th those job vacancies where email id or phone numbers were there right yes sir so overall from nokri.com you got two two calls right so i got uh, two calls from uh, nokri.com and four from linkedin okay and so how how were you verifying the calls that were coming to you that whether it is authentic or not because nowadays lot of fraud calls are coming for the interviews right so uh, in genuine call they will uh, they will discuss about your job role first not about your salary expectation and that you have to give some extra amount to secure uh, interview uh, so that i can uh, schedule your interview so if someone is asking for uh, money in interview that is a scam okay valid point so you told that you got uh, uh, more than 3 calls from linkedin so what helped you to get the interview call from linkedin so uh, i applied only those jobs uh, within 24 hours and also i used to do follow up with hr that was one of the reason and online credibility has helped me getting interview calls also okay online presence so that is again a very important factor for all the freshers to excel in this field so can you tell more about your online presence or also can you show your uh, uh, project portfolio that you are having uh, this is my automated portfolio website which was given by code basics so here is, uh, it is my introduction hello i am khushboo rani and here is a link of my uh, linkedin profile and github profile and there is a introduction video about uh, mine and i have uh, placed uh, six projects one from excel three from power bi one from sql and one from python and this is my about section i have placed here technical skills like excel power bi sql python and some soft skills like effective communication problem solving and stakeholder management and here uh, is my projects and if i uh, click on this uh, see my work you can uh, see my projects for example in business insight 360 this is a short info about the project and some in screenshots this is the screenshot of the data modeling and uh, this is the info page of that and here is the link of my video presentation 
and uh, this is the live dashboard link of that project so whenever you are reaching out to any recruiter so you are sharing your project portfolio to them right yes sir in email i uh, used to paste link of my portfolio website my certifications uh, three are virtual internship uh, certificates and uh, these all are um, excel certificate power bi sql and another one is data analytics bootcamp so apart from this project portfolio what else you were doing on linkedin to maintain your online credibility so this is my linkedin profile so you can see that in my feature section i have placed all my projects uh, consistently so here uh, you can see that i have placed uh, many projects in my feature section so that a recruiter can a recruiter can focus on my projects this is, this was my first project uh, in excel the first project in power bi and another this is my first project in sql and the first project in python and this was a resume challenge so whatever projects you have been building whatever learnings you have been doing so you used to share it on your, on the linkedin right on your, on your profile yes, sir. consistently i used to share my learnings so now talking about your interview so uh, on what skills you got interviewed i was asked questions on excel and power bi Okay, so you had preparation of Excel, SQL, Power BI, and Python, but you were focused on Excel and Power BI in the interview. Yes, sir, and, so, and also some psychological questions. Psychological questions. Can you give any example? Okay, so why you want to work in our company? Why should we hire you? And uh, what are what is the unique skills in you so that we uh, we can hire you only and not another candidate? And what level of Excel questions as well as Power BI questions were asked? Uh, it was uh, from easy to intermediate. Okay, and from the freshers' point of view, uh, what all topics uh, one should uh, must prepare or learn from Excel and Power BI side for the interview perspective? From interview pr uh, perspective, uh, you should focus on VLOOKUPs, SUMMIFs. Pivot tables uh, in Excel uh, and uh, uh, questions related to Power Query and in Power BI, you can uh, focus on scenario-based questions, uh, which I used to prepare from uh, your YouTube channel, and some technical questions in Power BI. So, Kushbu, coming to the next important point, so that is the salary. So, many people have confusion: what kind of salary one can expect as a fresher? Okay, what is the average salary? So, as per your experience. I know you can't tell your exact uh, compensation, but as per your experience from different interview calls that you got, what what average salary a fresher can expect? A fresher can expect a salary range between 3.5 LPA to 5 LPA. Okay, great. So uh, thank you so much, Kushbu, for coming and sharing your journey. Definitely, people will learn a lot from you, your strategies, what you applied, and they can. take inspiration from you how they can also get a job as a fresher so thank you so much for coming uh, thank you so much sir shank sir for inviting me to your youtube channel it was my dream that i could come to your youtube channel because i got lot of inspiration from your previous videos on how freshers got a da job and uh, i am very grateful that i am also a part of your uh, youtube channel